Mr. President? Since you missed our meeting on uh, Breeder Reactor, we sent the message today, Craig. I told Ziegler to tell the press that it's a bipartisan effort. <laughs> you know, this has got to be something we play very close to the vest. But I am being ruthless on one thing. Any activities that we possibly can should be placed in Southern California. So on the committee, every time you have a chance, needle them, say, where's this going to be? Let's push the California. Right, well, you do that. Nixon was from California. Hosmer was from Southern California. Chet Holifield, who ran the Joint Committee on Atomic Energy, was also from California. It doesn't lead me to believe that the president was seriously considering alternatives to the fast breeder reactor and other paths that could be taken. It was a focus on what can we do right now to get jobs. Now don't ask me what a breeder reactor is. All of this business about breeder reactors and nuclear energy and the stuff is over my head. That was one of my poorest subjects, science. And I got through it, but I had to work too hard. I gave it up when I was about a sophomore. But what I do know is this, that here we have the potentiality of a whole new breakthrough in the development of power for peace. The fellow on the phone call that we heard earlier said that if cost targets were missed, I for one don't intend to scream and holler about it. In that same month, the Atomic Energy Commission issued WASH 1222. It almost completely ignored the safety and economic improvements possible through the use of the molten salt breeder reactor technology.